The Creator has brought me here for a reason. This life is a gift. I walk the path of my ancestors. As a Diné people, we have adapted and survived. As we move into the future, the past is always alive for us. Our elders have taught us about life. We take their wisdom and use it to make a difference. As their child, I am their future. I am here to fulfill their hopes for me. They have great expectations for this generation. Everyone tells me, climb that ladder. I never really thought about what that meant. It's a climb. College is a struggle. It's not going to be easy. It's about changing your view, the way you look at the world. Change isn't easy either. Every instructor I had told me to ask questions. How else are you going to learn if you don't ask questions? College is about speaking up. That wasn't easy for me. I was an outcast. I was the one who was trying to be somebody I wasn't. I was trying to be like someone on TV, a thug. It's hard to find someone to look up to out here. When high school was over, I wasn't sure where I was going. I started drinking and doing drugs. I didn't think there was anything after high school, but I was wrong. It seemed like everyone at home was either a drug dealer or an alcoholic. It's not easy to say this, but I am a victim. When I was young, I was sexually abused. I tried to take my life twice. It was tough. I never thought I'd make it through that. One of my elders helped me. She came up to me, hugged me. She said, I love you. She kept me going. Inspired me to run. I ran. I ran at 5 a.m. I ran at 4 a.m. I ran in the afternoon and in the evenings. It made me strong. I imagined my family cheering me on. I knew I could finish whatever I set my mind to. My sister got her bachelor's degree. I babysat for her while she went to school. She told me she believed in me, that I should keep running, and that I should go to college. That day, I decided I would go to college. I got a job busting tables. For the first time, I knew what I was working for. I was saving up for college. I helped my sister. She helped me. Together, we made it work. She never gave up. I never gave up. I enrolled at Navajo Technical University. The instructors challenged me. I was shy, still am, but I raised my hand and asked questions. I met with the counselor and planned out my path to graduation. After we completed my degree checklist, I could tell it was going to take some time, years. But that was okay, because I was in charge of my future. I met my husband playing basketball. He came up to me. He asked me if my boyfriend would get mad if he talked to me. He wanted to play one-on-one. -on -one. We did. We hit it off. Now we have three kids. When I got pregnant, I moved into a hogan near my grandma's. Our drive to school was four hours every day. It was hard to get gas money and to live, basically. The hogan had no running water. We slept on the floor. Living on the reservation was hard. We didn't catch a break until I filled out an application for family housing with the school. When we got an apartment on campus, we both knew we could graduate from school. Living on campus allowed me to spend more time with my kids. I'm also able to work as a tutor and participate in competitions, sports, and club activities. I also run for the cross country and track team. It has always been my dream. My husband will receive his associate's degree in May. He also plays basketball and participates in school activities. There's always something for us to do while we live on campus. We work hard for not just us, but for our family. We want to show our kids that they can aspire to whatever they want to be. When they see us moving forward, doing things we love to do, we hope they'll pick up the same attitude about school. I've come a long way. I look back now and I give thanks to NTU and all other TCU colleges for allowing me to accomplish what I always wanted. With my family near and also my friends, I've grown to love this place. When I graduate and leave this place, I'm going to miss it. <laughs>